Welcome to a tutorial on using eDoc software to manage RFIs. To create a new RFI, click the orange Work tab on the left side menu. Click the orange RFI tab on the top menu. Click the New button. Enter the RFI name and associated details. If there are any locations or materials you would like tied to the RFI, click the Add button for each location or material you would like to add. Locate the location or material on the drop-down menu and click on it. If there are any documents in eDoc you would like tied to the RFI, click the Add button for each link you would like to add. Select the type of document from the drop-down menu. If you know the document number, you can start to type it in the text field, and a select box will appear with similar options. If you don't know the number, you can click the Select link at the right, and this will take you to a new window to locate the document within eDoc. The items that appear in blue are folders that contain documents. The documents that you can link to are listed in black. If there are any files you would like to attach, click the Add button for each file you would like to add. Click the Browse button. Locate the file on your computer. You can select it by double-clicking on the file name or by clicking Open. You can click on the Cancel button at the top of the page at any time to exit the screen without saving. Click the Save button at the top of the page to save any information you have entered. You can see that this RFI is in draft form and has not been assigned an official RFI number yet. As long as your RFI is in draft form, it can be edited or deleted. You can edit by clicking the Edit button. To delete an RFI, click the Delete button. The document will be placed in the Deleted Items folder and can be recovered at any time. To send your RFI to other users, click the Submit button. eDoc will take you to a different screen, allowing you to select which organization and or individuals the document should go to. For each organization or user that the document should go to, click the Add button and select them from the drop-down menu. If the document needs to be sent to an individual who is not using eDoc, under the Email to Someone Outside eDoc heading, enter their email address. The document will be automatically converted into a PDF file and then sent to the address entered. To add a due date, click the Select link and a calendar will appear. Select your due date from the calendar. To assign a priority, select from the drop-down menu. You can click on the Cancel button at the top of the page at any time to exit the screen without transmitting the document, and the document will remain as an editable draft. When all the appropriate selections have been made, click the Submit button to transmit the document. Notice how the document has been assigned a number by eDoc, and it is under Pending in the Browse box. If you realize you need to edit the RFI, you can recall it to a draft status. The assigned number will stay with this RFI and cannot be adjusted. You can see that the Edit and Delete buttons are now available. Once further action has been taken on this RFI, the Recall or Return button disappears. Further action can include responding, forwarding, approving, or closing. After you edit the RFI, you will need to submit it again. If you are the recipient of a document, you may have the ability to return the document to the creator if you notice that something isn't correct. Select the document either from your browse box or from your inbox. Once you click the return button, you will be given the option to attach a note to the creator explaining why you are returning the RFI. Once you click the save button, you will no longer have access to the document. Only the document history will be visible to you. When the creator logs in and looks at the RFI, the note will open up automatically. In this segment, we will cover how to send an RFI that you have received to another organization or user. To forward the RFI, select the RFI either from your browse box or your inbox. You can remove the sticky that was created when the RFI was returned by clicking Remove. Click the Send button. 
A new window will open up allowing you to select which organization and or individual the RFI should go to. You can make the RFI pending on the recipient by checking the assign box. You can also select a due date and priority for the user or organization you are assigning the RFI to. To add a due date, click the select link and a calendar will appear. Select your due date from the calendar. It must be sooner than the original due date. To assign a priority, select from the drop-down menu. When all of the appropriate selections have been made, click the Send button to transmit the document. You will notice that there is no longer the option to return the document to the creator. In this segment, we will address RFI responses. Select the RFI that you are going to be responding to. You can see that this RFI is currently pending on the engineer. You create an RFI response by clicking the Respond button. A new window will open where you can create your response. Select the type of response. Comment, Draft, and Final are all the same. Supplemental will put a flag on the RFI, notifying users that there is a supplemental response. Enter your response in the response field. If there are any files or links you would like tied to the response, click the Add button for each file or link you would like to add. For files, click the Browse button to add a file from your computer. Locate the file on your computer, select it, and click Open. Once you are satisfied with your response, click the Save button. Click the Submit button and select the recipients the document will go to. Click the Submit button. You can return to the original RFI by clicking the blue Request link. You can see that the document is now pending on the organization that assigned it to the engineer. As long as your response is a draft, it can be edited or deleted. To edit, click the Edit button. To delete a response, click the blue Request button to go back to the RFI. Scroll down to the bottom of the document to see a list of responses. Check the box to the left of the response and then click the Remove button. The response is not recoverable. This section deals with closing an RFI. Once the RFI has fulfilled its use, you can close the document. The first step of this process is to have an official response ready. You can always create a new response by clicking the Respond button. Alternately, you can copy a response. Click the Copy button to duplicate the response. You can edit or modify this response. To return to the list of responses and the original RFI document, Click the blue Request link. To combine multiple existing responses, click the Merge button. This will take you to a screen where you can select which responses and which attachments you want to incorporate in a new response. Once you click the Save button, a new response will be created which contains all of the selected information. As you can see, this response is in draft form, making it editable and deletable. Click the Edit button if you would like to change any of the information on the response. And once you are satisfied, you can click the Save button. Click the blue Request link to return to the RFI. Once you have a finalized response created in eDoc and are ready to share it, click the Close button. This will take you to a screen where you can select the official response from a drop-down. Once you click the Save button, the official response will be shared with all of the users which have access to the RFI. The RFI will be stored in the closed folder in the Browse box. You can see here that one response is marked as official.